It took a lot of hard work to build your company, equipping it with the latest technology and handpicking the right staff. You would do anything to make revenues grow and profits to increase, and almost anything to protect it. It may come to you as a surprise that possibly the greatest threat may not come from outside, but from inside the company. With all of the technology and employees you have, you are vulnerable to attack from within. Think for a minute. Has this happened to you? Your employee claims sexual harassment by a supervisor and threatens to sue the company for negligence. How do you protect yourself? At Digits LLC, we uh, routinely uh, investigate matters such as sexual harassment. Uh, one particular case uh, that we've recently investigated involved a female employee suing the company for um, $150,000 alleging that she was being sexually harassed by her male supervisor. Uh, the company typically will undertake a brick and mortar investigation where they will interview the other female employees in the group. Um, if their, their uh, statements are that the male supervisor has indeed been saying inappropriate things to them, um, that may be a problem. If they look in each other's uh, personnel files and find a previous uh, letter or um, uh, comment concerning his activities with other females, that may be an additional problem. Um, we were contacted and asked if we could provide any assistance by having the male supervisor's computer as well as the ex-female employee's computer turned over to us for a forensic examination. We were able to recover and discover uh, through deleted, deleted email as well as web-based email that the two were um, sending and receiving to each other that in fact she was not being sexually harassed, that she sought out the sexual affair that they were both having with each other on their spouses and that when confronted by the male supervisor to call off the affair, she threatened in deleted, deleted emails that she was going to sue him and own the company someday. Um, now, as you can imagine, this is game-changing forensic evidence um, that significantly changed the, the outcome and the settlement of that case. Maybe you discover an idea of yours is suddenly being promoted by your competitor. The details indicate it came from within your company. How do you find out? At Digits LLC, we've investigated several high-profile corporate espionage investigations. A typical scenario will go like this. <clears throat> uh, company has a specific product or proprietary service that they offer um, that they're selling in the marketplace. They begin to look for private equity investment to take their product or service to the next level. During the course of those negotiations and uh, through the course of that investment strategy, um, they take on a new employee that's maybe recommended by the investment firm. Um, this employee is foreign to them, uh, but as part of the deal, um, comes with the package. Um, that employee turns out to be a, a, a mole or a co-conspirator um, and is particularly planted into that organization for purposes of gathering inside information and intelligence and ultimately um, the insider information that uh, relates to their product or proprietary process. These are cases that we can lend a tremendous amount of value to in forensically analyzing the, the laptops, the desktops, the smartphones, as well as out-of-band email communications that are taking place between that employee and the outside entities to determine what's really going on. Well, one of your top employees decides to go into business for himself or a competitor, and after he leaves, you discover all of his computer files are erased, deleted, gone. You suspect he has taken them and left you empty-handed. What can you do? At Digits LLC, we, uh, we routinely do theft of intellectual property investigations for our clients. The standard case that we get very often uh, involves a, an employee who is assigned to a particular project, uh, maybe the development of a proprietary system for the company to perform their services. During the course of that project, that employee learns from some competitors that they may be valuable if they were to leave their current employer and go to the competitor, and certainly much more valuable if they were to take some of that knowledge or information that was being developed by the current employer to take that with them to their um, new employer. Those cases that uh, come in the door every day, as well as um, your standard outside sales person. Um, we have tremendous investigations involving your standard outside sales person who is entrusted with the company's marketing lists, 
customer lists, pricing information, strategic marketing plans for certain regions, and is tasked with going out and selling those services or goods um, to vendors or wholesalers or distributors. Um, you know, we, we provide them with a laptop and a smartphone to perform their job. We give them this business intelligence information to do their job well. Um, and we often find that through the turnover of these employees, um, as they leave one employer as an outside salesperson to go with another employer as an outside salesperson, it is very commonplace for them to take that business intelligence information with them. Have you had an employee who has filed a workers' compensation claim? You suspect fraud. How do you prove it? With computer forensics. At Digits LLC, we've undertaken um, a significant involvement in today's social media. Um, we have found that our clients have requested and we've been able to deliver services surrounding social media and particularly as it relates to litigation. Um, you know, these types of cases involve personal injury where uh, an, a person's involved in some type of accident <clears throat> where they're hurt, um, claiming 100% disability, maybe it's a workers' compensation claim, uh, where they've claimed 100% disability and the inability to work, um, only to be uh, hired by plaintiff's attorney um, to investigate what this individual is posting on their social media sites. Um, and we've, we frequently learn that they're posting on their walls and, and Facebook and, and Twitter and other social media sites that they're in fact not 100% disabled. That in fact they last week went mount, mountain climbing in Vail, Colorado and skiing in Vermont the week before. So this type of evidence, as you can imagine, can be extremely valuable um, to your investigation. Any of these scenarios can severely hamper, maybe even ruin a company. What recourse do you have? Digits is a high-end computer forensics company that was born from our days in law enforcement. Um, the partners in Digits were law enforcement members and charter members of the computer forensics community long before it was even called computer forensics. We have many years of experience doing computer forensics and investigating high-tech criminal uh, activity. In computer forensics, we can dig deep and find out the information so that you know what your employees are doing. Um, we can also conduct high-level network investigations if you've been violated from outside or think you have been. Your computers combined with the internet is a powerful tool both for good and bad. The delete key can correct mistakes or hide wrongdoing. I promise you, if an employee is doing bad, it's not company email. They use out-of-band email such as Hotmail or Gmail, and they think it's deleted when they log off. They have not deleted it. It still exists. Digits LLC were constantly asked whether or not um, the data exists um, in various locations. Um, oftentimes we'll get a case um, that originated from the company and the company's IT department, um, only to find out that the data has not been deleted that it actually exists in multiple locations, both um, on, in multiple places on the devices, the laptops, the smartphones, possibly other network file shares, but also in third-party locations. We're able to determine and assist clients in determining where their data really lives. And this is critically important in the areas of litigation when they, a company is served with a litigation hold or they've just recently been served with a subpoena, a regulatory compliance subpoena, or a lawsuit requesting that certain electronically stored information be collected, preserved, and ultimately produced. We work with clients regularly to identify where that data is, um, either within their four walls or at some third party location, um, and assist them in collecting, properly collecting, preserving, and ultimately examining and producing that data that's relevant to their litigation. An unscrupulous person doesn't have to send your material from one of your computers over the internet. They can easily copy information onto a thumb drive and carry the electronic information out of the company. Imagine all of the possibilities of what can happen with your supposed confidential company information. Thieves can be very sophisticated. When trying to cover the trail, they are capable of accomplishing what you see in Hollywood movies. But computer forensics solves the problem. We found that, that the end user can be a very sophisticated uh, user. Um, fortunately for us, in many cases, forensics is able to uncover 
the electronic evidence or the electronic footprints that's left behind by that user. Um, in particular, in a Windows operating environment, um, Windows is a very noisy operating system and as a result keeps lots of information in lots of different places on the hard drive. It's very difficult for a user to clean up that computer to the point where forensically we can't recreate forensically what that user was doing for the weeks and months leading up to that event. Their separation, their termination, the lawsuit, the subpoena. Um, in other operating systems it's a little bit more difficult. But what we also found is Criminal Behavior 101 says that if I'm, an, if I'm an employee doing something I know my employer doesn't want me to do, I'm gonna find ways to get around it. And if I'm an employee doing something I know my employer doesn't want me to do, I'm certainly not gonna do it over the employer's Outlook email. I'm going to use Gmail and Hotmail and Yahoo to commit those crimes or to, be, to do those nefarious activities. Um, so that information is typically only available forensically on the device and your network IT people are not going to see that type of activity. They may see that they went to that location, a Gmail or Hotmail account, but they won't see the content. Um, when a user plugs in a USB drive, typically your IT department is not going to see what files have been copied back and forth to those devices. Forensically, on the device side, we can see most of that. Uh, we can see when CD-ROMs have been burnt, what data has been put to CDs, what files have been printed, um, and what files were attached to out-of-band email accounts such as Gmail and Hotmail. Um, so that's the type of evidence um, that is often game-changing evidence in most of these regulatory compliance or litigation matters. Your IT person will probably be the person to notice something suspicious has occurred. When they inform you, your first inclination will be to have the IT person to investigate the problem. Stop. This could possibly be the worst thing you could do. In most cases, your IT guy is not, number one, he's not a forensic expert. He can't, um, he doesn't use the same tools that we use. He doesn't have the same certifications that we have. If you have a doctor um, and you have a knee problem, you don't want your uh, brain surgeon to work on your knee. Conversely, the IT guy doesn't have the tools, the certifications, he's not practiced, he d he's not polished in the forensics. Um, forensics is different than IT. The IT guy treats data as data. At Digits, we treat data as evidence. If the IT guy goes in and uh, damages the evidence, it's gonna be difficult to prove in a court of law because things change. When we complete our investigation, you will have a report that is a thorough and complete depiction on which your legal team can proceed. The problem can be avoided with specific comprehensive policies and procedures written in place. These policies should include auditing your policies. You should review and update your policies as needed. You should have done a periodic, proactive forensic review of computers to ensure compliance with company policy. If a problem is detected, digits can get to the bottom of it. We also can be an expert witness in the event there is litigation. We can advise your company on proactive prevention and compliance with policies and procedures. If you find yourself involved in litigation, a regulatory compliance matter, um, give Digits a call. We have assisted clients navigate these matters, consulted them in the proper evidence collection, preservation, examination, and production of this information that's relevant specifically to their case. Um, we can help solve your problem. Uh, we've done it for over 115 years in law enforcement, working on some of the largest high-profile investigations in the country, and we can do it for you. Um, not only can we help you solve an immediate problem as a reactive uh, approach, but we can also assist you proactively managing, mitigating your risk going forward so that you can identify issues and deal with those issues before they become a problem.